This video explains how to create a reference list in APA. If you are looking for general information on APA style or information on creating in-text citations, consult Part 1 and Part 2 of this series. Here are the general guidelines for formatting a reference list. Your reference list should begin on a new page separate from the text of your paper. Label this page references in bold centered at the top of the page. The reference list should also be double spaced with no extra spaces between entries. The reference list should be left justified and each entry should feature a one half inch hanging indent for the second and any subsequent lines of, of each reference. Entry should be arranged alphabetically by the author's last name or by the title if there is no author. Remember that different types of references call for different types of information. For example, the elements of a reference for an entry for a book are different than that of a journal article or a website. Keep that in mind when gathering information. Here's a sample reference list. The word references is centered in bold at the top of the page. This is followed by the reference entries, which are arranged alphabetically and use a hanging indent for each entry. Let's look at what information is required in an APA reference entry. There are four basic parts, the author, the date, the title, and the source information. I've highlighted each part so that you can see which section is related to each element. So the author, the date, the title, and the source for a journal article is displayed. Let's look at the authors first. You may encounter some variations when formatting the author information for a reference entry. Here is an example of a reference with one author. When you have two authors, use an ampersand between the names. For references between three and 20 authors, list them all and use an ampersand before the last author listed. Remember that APA uses first and middle initials only along with last name. If the source does not have an author, begin the reference with the title. This sometimes will be the case with websites and some news sources. You may also encounter variations with dates. If there is no publication date, use N period D period instead. One change from the APA 6th edition has to do with retrieval dates. The 7th edition no longer includes retrieval dates for most sources. If your reference has no title, use a description of the work in square brackets. When entering titles on your reference list, be sure to follow APA's guidelines for capitalization. Generally, for works that are part of a whole, that is journal articles and book chapters, do not italicize or put the title in quotations and capitalize using sentence case. For standalone works, such as a book, italicize the title and capitalize using sentence case. In sentence case, use lowercase for most words in the title and heading. Capitalize only the first word of the title or subtitle, as well as all proper nouns. The last part of your entry will include information about the source, including something called a DOI. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier and is a unique set of letters and numbers for a specific source. APA prefers that you use a DOI over a URL, as URLs can change. If your work has both a DOI and a URL, use the DOI. The 7th edition no longer requires the words retrieved, retrieved from, or accessed from in front of the DOI or URL. Let's take a look at a, an example of a formatted reference list. First, we see a journal article with a DOI. 
than a book with no DOI. One other change in the seventh edition from earlier editions is that for book entries, the place of publication is no longer required. Citing websites or web pages can be a little tricky, as sometimes not all information is available. Consult the APA style guide for more examples of different types of reference entries. Many students rely on pre-formatted citations available within library databases, citation generators such as EasyBib and Citation Machine, as well as bibliographic citation management programs like EndNote and Zotero. If you use these programs, make sure you check your reference list against a standard such as the APA style website or the Purdue OWL. And here are some sources for more information. APA Style Guide, they ha APA has its own style guide online. And the Purdue OWL has just updated their style guide to reflect the seventh edition.